Enter Hans Bastinier, a German propaganda cameraman, armed not with weapons, but with an Ariflex color camera. His mission was unique, to document the German Sixth Army's advance through the Eastern Territories during the summer and autumn of 1942. This footage offers a vivid, unfiltered glimpse into the realities of war. As we delve into this collection, spanning from June to September 1942, we are transported back to a world at war. Each frame, each color, tells a story, not just of military strategies and battlegrounds, but of the human condition amidst one of the most pivotal conflicts in history. This documentary aims to bring those stories to life, providing a rare, colorful window into a time that has long passed but should never be forgotten. Early summer, 1942, the advance begins. As the early summer of 1942 dawned, the German 6th Army, one of the Wehrmacht's premier units, was poised on the edge of a significant offensive. Their objective was clear, yet daunting. To advance through eastern Ukraine, a region characterized by its vast steppes and small, scattered villages. This was a terrain that would test the mettle of any army. Through the eye of Hans Bastonier's Ariflex camera, we witness the initial stages of this grand advance. The footage captures convoys of tanks and troops moving across the open countryside, a stark contrast to the peaceful pastoral scenes one might expect. The vivid hues of the landscape, interspersed with the grey and green of military machinery, paint a picture of war encroaching upon tranquility. But it's not just the machinery of war that Bastonnier's lens captures. We see glimpses of soldiers' lives, moments of camaraderie, the weariness in their eyes, and the occasional attempts to find normalcy amidst the chaos. These frames tell a story beyond military strategy. They speak of human resilience and the complexity of soldiers' emotions during war. As the Sixth Army pushes deeper into Ukraine, the footage becomes a valuable historical record. It shows not only the military operation, but also gives insights into the rural Ukrainian landscape of the 1940s, now transformed into a theater of war. The journey through southern Russia. As the German Sixth Army's campaign progressed, the summer of 1942 saw their forces traversing into the depths of southern Russia. This phase of the advance, perhaps less documented in traditional war narratives, comes to life through Bastinier's color footage. The landscapes captured in this segment are stark and expansive, conveying the vastness of the Russian terrain. The footage provides a rare color perspective of the southern Russian front, revealing the diverse environmental conditions the German troops faced. From the sun-scorched fields to the small, rural settlements, each frame tells a story of a land and its people caught in the throes of war. In this segment, Bastania's camera skillfully captures the daily life of soldiers, scenes of soldiers resting by their vehicles, engaging in routine maintenance, or conversing amongst themselves, provide a humanizing contrast to the otherwise harsh reality of the military campaign. These moments of normalcy amidst the abnormality of war are poignant reminders of the human aspect in this vast military operation. Strategically, this journey was crucial. The footage shows the logistical challenges of moving an entire army with its heavy equipment through such a challenging landscape. It subtly highlights the sheer scale of the German military's undertaking and the complex logistics involved in sustaining such a large force so far from its home bases. This section of Bastonnier's work is not just a military record, it's a visual chronicle of a critical moment in history, seen through the lens of those who lived it. Towards Stalingrad, the pivotal point. The advance of the German 6th Army towards Stalingrad, as captured by Hans Bastania's camera, marks a pivotal chapter in this historical narrative. Stalingrad, a key city on the Volga River, was not just a strategic objective, 
but also a symbol of Soviet resistance. The footage from this period reflects the increasing intensity of the campaign. Bastani's color films provide an unprecedented view of the army's approach to Stalingrad. We see the gradual transition from rural landscapes to more urban settings, indicating the army's progress towards its target. The footage captures long columns of German troops and armor moving steadily eastward, underscoring the vast scale of the offensive. As the army neared Stalingrad, the footage begins to reflect a shift in the mood among the soldiers. The initial confidence seems to give way to a more somber realization of the war's brutality and the challenges ahead. Scenes of soldiers in contemplative moments amidst the relentless movement of men and machinery evoke the human cost of this massive military endeavor. This section of the footage also serves as a stark reminder of the role of propaganda in war. Bastanier, working as a propaganda cameraman, was tasked with capturing images that would bolster German morale and support the Nazi narrative of the war. The raw and unedited nature of this footage, however, offers a more nuanced and less filtered perspective of the realities on the ground. As we delve into these frames, we not only witness the strategic movements of an army, but also the individual faces of the men who marched towards one of the deadliest battles in human history. As our journey through Hans Bastonier's color footage comes to a close, we are left to reflect on the profound impact of these visual records. Captured during a time of immense turmoil and conflict, Bastonier's footage provides more than just a military account. It serves as a poignant reminder of the human dimension of war. This collection of raw, unedited scenes from the Eastern Front offers a rare and invaluable perspective. It bridges the gap between historical events and personal experiences, bringing to light the realities faced by soldiers and civilians alike. Each frame, with its authentic colors and candid moments, adds depth to our understanding of World War II, transcending the monochrome narrative often associated with this period. Furthermore, this footage stands as a testament to the power of visual documentation in preserving history. It challenges us to look beyond the written records and official narratives to seek the stories hidden in plain sight, stories of courage, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. As we step back into our present, the legacy of Bastanier's work remains relevant. It reminds us of the importance of looking at history through diverse lenses, encouraging a deeper, more empathetic understanding of the past. In doing so, we not only honor those who lived through these events, but also gain insights that resonate with the complexities of our own time. In the end, these frames from the Eastern Front, vibrant yet haunting, serve not just as a window into history, but as a mirror reflecting our ongoing quest to understand the human experience in times of conflict.
Thank you. 